Okay, so we are going to be, be uh, programming pulling out different shelves using the features start here and end there. I will create four routes. One of them describes the shelf unit. One of them will be the way that the robot gets into the shelf. One of them will be the way it comes away from the shelf. And the last one will be pushing the shelf back in after use. So the first thing to do is to find a way in to shelf one, which I will be doing with jog. I need to close the grip or otherwise it won't fit. So now I'm in between shelves one and two. I'm going to go up on Z, Z, and I'm ready to pull out shelf one. Now I, not, now I need to go back away from it, a step at a time, but each line I learn will be inserted in front of the one before, so it's all in reverse order. And this will be the last position before starting to pull out which means that it's also the reference position for shelf one. So I'm going backwards. I learn that position. And back some more. And learn that position. And then uh, right back to a central start position. And learn that as well. Remember, this is all in reverse order, so the first line that I learned will be the last one when we run it. So when I run it, it will be like this. Next, we have to learn a, a route which I called pull two that will pull the shelf out. The first line of pull two will be its current position. When we run this, we'll be using the start here feature and not the end there feature. So this one is going to start here and continue pulling back. And learn some positions as we go along so that we get a nice straight line when we run it. So now the question is how far do we pull it out? The only way to to gauge that is to pull out the shelf below and say we're going to pull out that far. That would seem to be about it, maybe a little bit too far, so back in a little bit. That's the end of pull two. This is where I need to let go of the shelf and get clear. So I'm going to go down on Z or Z. Going down one millimeter increments. And then come back on Y. Those two positions will be learned onto the route at the end of pool two. Now to push the shelf back in again, I'm going to continue from where the last pull left off. So the first thing I need to do is go up and then into the uh, contact with the shelf. And finally, push it right the way home. This is an intermediate position to make it run a bit smoother. And now the shelf is pushed in. Now I'm just going to go back to the starting position to show you how that will help. So if I type 
push in now, it will do the whole thing. Because that included retrace of push and finally the gripper opens, but the, need, the gripper needs to be closed when I'm actually doing the, uh, the, the handling of the shelf. But we don't want to leave the gripper closed all the time. Okay, now to learn the shelf positions. So the first thing I want to do is to go back on pull one to the point where we're starting to pull the shelf out. Shelf one position is where pull one ends up or where pull two starts. So I'm going to run pull one to get into the position where we start to pull the shelf. Okay, now this is position one of, of, of the shelves. So this is line one of shelves. So I learn that into the shelf list. The next thing to do, because shelf was created as a row, the next thing to do is to learn shelf five. And I can't learn shelf five because it's too low, as you can see. So I'm going to measure it instead. And the distance between shelf one and shelf five is 230 millimeters. So to learn shelf five, I learn shelf five exactly the same as one, but edit it on the Z, Z axis only, 230 millimeters lower. Okay, so now I have all five shelves learned. And we know that pull one, pull two, and, and push all work with shelf one. So to make pull one work with shelf two, or say shelf three, I need to change the, the, end, the target, which is where I use end there. So if I now type shelf, shelves, three, line, pull one, end there, run, We'll go for shelf three instead. Cool. So that ended up using end there at shelf three. Now to pull out, I use start here instead of end there. I've learned a number of intermediate positions into that to make the line straighter. Ultimately, though, we'll use the smooth command so that it completely uh, smooths out the, the transition. So now I'm going to try push in. I have created a, a route called push previously on line one. I just need to do push from where we are. So again, it's start here. I don't need to say where it's starting from because it's starting from where it is. So if I type push now, and I'll do that in smooth as well, then it will just push it in. Now I've got a complete word called pull out, and it just needs a line number. Here we go. And then to push it back, I just type push in. And there it all is done.